largest and most progressive city in Colombia, home to 2 million people. It lies cradled in the Ampura Valley by sector by the Medellin River which runs north and south. The city manifests in its beauty by being home to orchards, parks and its diversity of indigenous animals. Despite the city's beauty, the urbanization contributes to climate change. By making use of the witch strategies, it reduces carbon emissions by 1 billion tons per year. The greatest contribution to climate change of Midland is air pollution, which results in the city experiencing natural disasters. Factors contributing to the air pollution are carbon emissions of cars and of aircrafts resulting in the country of Colombia to be ranked 33rd according to its ecological footprint. And it can be expressed as the amount of land required to sustain the use of natural resources. In addition, long-term exposure to air pollution can cause cancer and damage to immune and respiratory systems. Along with harming human by making use of the following witch strategies, Midland will decrease its contribution to air pollution thus leading to the city reducing its carbon emissions by 1 billion tons per year. Mitigation actions can be set in place by identifying the opportunity for the city to use natural fuels on mass transport, as Midland is also a tourist destination. Up to 35% of carbon emissions are avoided in this action which should take place. By making use of prepaid electricity, this allows the customer to control the consumption in accordance with the family's income, allowing them to make a more efficient use and aware of public services while reducing carbon emissions. By making use of the bike system, it decreases the levels of carbon emissions as it increases the citizens' fitness levels and reduces the remaining particles contributing to the environmental degradation. The formulation Forest Carbon Project identifies potentially about 15,000 acres suitable for forestry which now is covered by grass and low stubble, with the identification of native and introduced species for promoting commercial reforestation, with the ability to capture by 3 million tons of carbon in a lifespan of 20 years. The initiative of starting environmental classes are to promote self-management, democratic education, community work, research and the use of free time for the benefit of nature. These spaces are designed to connect the citizens with the environment through urban agriculture and training on issues such as biodiversity, plant care, solid waste management and carbon emissions reduction. Understanding the importance of the issues of sustainable development, therefore directly being involved in the constructions of environmental friendly buildings, encouraging local companies to enter global construction trends which are based on minimizing the impact of the construction process and creating buildings which will help save energy, water and responsible management of waste. The project's main objective is to boost the Mendelin River's potential as an environmental and public space access in the region and the city, making it a key element to the structure of the city, transforming the river in a space for the gathering and the enjoyment of the public. This invention is not only based on the infrastructure, it has several lines of actions, one of them being nature and city. In Colombia, the state owns all hydrocarbon reserves, control is exercised in the oil and gas sectors through state-run hydrocarbon companies. While Colombia is South America's largest coal producer, almost 70% of the country's electricity power comes from hydroelectricity sources.
The government is seeking to encourage greater use of natural gases for electricity generation and public transportation. Indie Game Country Index is a project that summarizes a country's vulnerability to climate change and other global challenges in combination with a readiness to improve resilience. It aims to help businesses and the public sector better prioritize investments for more efficient responses to the immediate global challenges ahead. According to the Indie Gain, the country of Colombia still places in the lower quadrant of the Indie Gain matrix. Adaptation challenges still exist, but Colombia is well positioned to adapt to climate change. In the analysis of this assignment, I have identified the contributing factor of climate change of the city Midland. Implementing the wedge strategy to reduce the city's carbon emissions, I have suggested possible solutions and policies. Analyzing the adaptation of the city and its resilience to climate change according to the ND Gain Index.